Hey good morning friends, this is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video I'll be showing you the unboxing and review of Samsung SSD, that's 850 EVO. I have purchased this from Flipkart.com and I have paid approximately 8500 Indian rupees. Okay, so if I'll uh, zoom the video and I'll show you the price tag on the box, it says 10,500 Indian rupees. And the best thing is it has got 5 years of warranty. As per my experience, like Samsung has very good after sale service and this SSD comes with 3D VNAN technology. This is really good like it will help your uh, hard drive to retain the data for a longer period of time. So let me quickly cut this box and show you what all things comes inside and how does the SSD looks. So here is the Samsung SSD 850 EVO and it has been packed nicely and if you will zoom the camera and I'll show you how does this SSD looks like it has Samsung branding on top and we have then stickers and we have SATA port connectors at back let me keep the SSD aside for a while and I'll get back to it once I'll show you what all things comes with this box this is the casing we don't have anything here I'll remove this and then this is the first document which says Samsung solid state drive installation guide here this will tell you like how you can put your SATA cables and other things in the cabinet. Now second is the Samsung solid state drive warranty statement. Here it says like what all terms and conditions you need to follow to get 5 years of warranty. Now the last thing is the CD-ROM. This contains the magician software and data migration software. We can install these things to improve the performance. Okay, so now let me get back to this SSD here you can see at back we have two ports one is power and another is SATA so you need to connect the power port to your SMPS or power supply unit and the second is the SATA port you need to connect to your motherboard also to let you know that this device is really light you can easily fix it by using the double sided tape in your cabinet but I'll recommend you to use screws because this will make your device stable in the cabinet so this was the unboxing of Samsung EVO 850. I'll be going ahead and I'll show you the performance of this Samsung SSD and let you know how is the read and write performance. Stay tuned. Alright friends, now I have installed the operating system on this SSD and I have also installed few applications on this SSD to show you like how is the performance. Let me open Photoshop CS6. You can see it took approximately 4 seconds to open this application and if I'll open Word, if I'll open other Excel, PowerPoint, everything flashes off. It's just open without taking a second. And if you see the Samsung Magician software, I have enabled the rapid mode. If you see Chrome, it's opening quickly. If I see Firefox, it just opens in a second. So everything is like lightning fast. It has changed the experience entirely. And now what I'll do is I'll be copying some of the files from one location to another. I have two hard drives like one is Western Digital Black Edition that's drive D and I have another drive that C that's like Evo 850. So what I'll do I'll be copying a game from drive D that's normal hard drive the Western Digital Black Edition hard drive to my SSD. You can see it has multiple files of random size so I'll show you this is approximately 3 GB and if I'll go and I'll go to C drive and I'll paste it here let me switch on the timer so that you can see how much time does it take to paste so I'll click on start and then it placed so you can see it's going really fast it shows 162 172 so on an average I can see it's giving me write speed of 157 but again the read is from the normal hard drive so it's less you can see it took approximately 24 seconds to copy 3 GB of data from normal hard drive to SSD now I'll be doing another test I'll be doing another test like I'll be copying uh, the same folder within the SSD like I'll be copying from one location of SSD to another location I'm using the same folder is approximately 3 GB. I'll copy it and then I'll create a new folder called SSD copy. 
and I'll right click and paste oh, so let me start the timer first and then I'll click on paste so started and I'll click on paste so you can see uh, it has started with 197 and 200 and the speed is getting dropped as I have enabled the rapid mode so rapid mode like initial copy is very fast now you can see it has copied in only 19 0.92 like 20 second and that took 25 seconds so there is a difference of 5 seconds so that looks good now what I'll do I'll be copying large file this is 40 GB of random data like it has multiple small big size file so I'll be copying it from C drive and I'll be pasting into the same C drive like copying from SSD to SSD so let's see how is the performance now you can see like it's fluctuating a lot like it's going from 224 to 32, 35 so it's like lots of fluctuation it depends upon the type of file some files are very small and then the speed decreases and if I have a big file, large files, a single large file the speed will increase depends on many factor so you can see that speed dropped to 3 mbps also so that's not looking good lots of fluctuation here so let's see I'll pause the video and then I'll continue after 90 or 95% and I'll show you like how much time did it take to copy 40 GB of data okay friends now you can see that it's at 95 percent 97 percent and it has already taken 3.59 or 4 minutes to copy 40 GB of data from SSD to SSD so okay so it's completed in 4 minutes 6 seconds and that was not bad like copying 40 GB in 4 minutes 7 seconds so that was good so now what I'll do I'll be testing in different way I'll be copying it from SSD and I'll be pasting it to hard drive like reading from SSD and writing to normal hard drive like Seagate black edition hard drive so let me reset this counter and start again oops reset and start okay so let me paste and then I'll start okay so here the copy has started now you can see uh, the speed shows at 45 50 and it will keep on fluctuating so I'll pause the video again and I'll get back to you when it is about to complete the copy now here you can see that this is at 97 percent and it has taken 6 minutes 11 seconds now and it's about to complete okay so it took 6 minutes 17 seconds if you remember the SSD to SSD copy took around 4 minutes so there's a difference of 2 seconds now what I'll do I'll be copying the same file from the normal HDD to the normal HDD like from Western Digital hard drive to Western Digital hard drive and let's see how much time does it take I'll pause the video and I'll come back once it is about to complete now this is about to complete it's at 99 percent and now it's 100 person completed okay so it took 12 minutes 37 seconds now here you can see lots of difference in SSD to SSD it took only 4 minutes 7 seconds now here it took 12 minutes 37 seconds so there's a huge difference so guys you can see like it makes lots of difference while using SSD okay so at last I'll be showing the read and write speed using one tool which will read and write at random data size so I'm using AS SSD and here I just need to click on start so you can see the uh, left side that lesson is read and the second one I don't know how to spell that is right so the language is changed it's not English okay so you can see that sequential is 1851 megabyte per second and write is 837 so you must be wondering like why so much of uh, megabyte per second this is because like I've enabled the rapid mode which is available in Samsung magician tool if I'll switch it off it will hover around 400 to 500 in sequential 
and others will also change accordingly. Now let me show you how you can disable the rapid mode and then you can test it later like it will go around 400 to 500 mbps per second so here is the rapid mode and uh, you just have to click on disable and the system will restart and you're all set to check without rapid mode so guys this was my unboxing and review of samsung ssd if you like my video do subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up to my video have a nice day bye bye